It is uh, September 28th, and this is Grand Man at McManus Meadows. We're out to make the first move of the day. It's a cow cat day. Um, yep, uh, when the ground's a little bit muddy, uh, I decide not to bring the cow dog. Um, he uh, takes a little too many uh, rolls in the mud. But um, the cats are out keeping us safe from rodents, so they're all, uh, they don't bring anything into the into the shack. So anyway, stay tuned. Another beautiful day here, uh, late September. Well, <clears throat> let's see if the cows follow me down to the line. This uh, eastern side of this field has a lot of brute sets. Um, but between the western side and and where the broom's edge starts, you'll see it in a little bit here. There is a lot of orchard, grass, fescue. Um, there's a, I think they like when I open up the uh, the next lanes because they can go in and pick off the uh, Korean clover and alfalfa that's there. But uh, they seem to, the last few days, always be grazing with the orchard grass and fescue. So here they come. Well, the herd is making their way through the... Uh, through the uh, broom's edge. And in this next paddock, I actually don't know those, uh, that flowering plant. Actually, not sure what that is. Um, there's some white flowers and then some, some purple flowers as well. So some foxtail in here. There is uh, a few stands of Johnson grass. So let's see. That's the Korean clover that uh, Ginger put her head down first. The, the diversity is great. comes JB. Millie's going after some Korean espadiza, Korean clover. Goggles is doing so much better. Her limp uh, is looking good. That's good. Morris is uh, head down too with, with Millie. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it as obvious as I can, but if you look at Millie, there's very, very few flies compared to goggles. I still don't know why that is. I, I comment on it just about every video. So I'll be back later. Thanks for tuning in. And just a quick uh, note, I wrapped up setting up a lane seven. Cows are in the second to last paddock of lane six. A little later today, we'll come down and move them into that last paddock. And then tomorrow, uh, lane seven opens up. Well, it's a little early for the afternoon move, but um, here we go. Cows are all down here in the escape lane, relaxing. You gotta head over to the uh, far end of lane number six and open it up. 
probably won't see the cows come, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Well, this is the last paddock in lane six. Just looking back and there is no movement at all. So we'll uh, come down tomorrow morning and check this out, see how they do. It does look like the herd is queuing up to make the move down lane six, but um, they're not moving very fast, so. We'll wait here for a second. But I'm heading into the city, so I don't have that much time. Good morning. It is September 29th. Um, it's a nice crisp morning. The uh, haze has burnt off the uh, pasture here. And uh, yeah, here's the herd. This is Grand Manic McManus Meadows or in good shape today to move them into lane number lane number seven so let's see oh jb let's see how he's doing hey buddy i only ever uh rub jb's head and neck when he's on the other side of that wire not because he's aggressive just because he's big so there's his little brother, Morris. Uh, there's Goggles. Millie. And Ginger. So, let's head down and open it up. We are just uh, turning the camera on. I set it on top of the mineral feeder and I'm shooting down the escape lane well I, I'm going to close off lane six um, close off lane six and then I'm going to open up lane seven Oop, they're starting to move so Here the real just moving a few uh things around. The cows are getting close to make the move. So
All right, I'm just going to walk the reel in, um, open it up for JB. Here you go, bud. This is actually might be all they get for today. Wanted to uh, split this, but I didn't. So you can see I'm in a sea of broom sedge. Oh, goggles, you're looking better every day. The limp's almost completely gone. That's great. And see uh, Ginger walking through the broom sedge over to find some clover here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down... <clears throat> Down on the ground here, in, in around the broom sedge, there is a bunch of cooler stuff coming, but I don't know. Probably should have should have knocked this down, but see how it goes over the next probably handful of months. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. It is September 29th. It's in the, well, it's the evening move. Got the cow dog here helping out. Millie's looking good. The cow dog's doing a little roll in the, uh, what's there? A little alfalfa, a little fescue, a little orchard grass. Sorry about the uh, microphone. I left my mic. Here's the rest of the herd hanging out. I may, I may actually give them the next little bit. But um, yeah, they should be in lane seven. I'm standing in lane eight. They should be in lane seven most of this week. And we're thinking about. Uh, what October holds, whether we finish up down here in October, start over on lane one again, or go back up to uh, the, upper, the upper meadow. JB and, uh, JB and Morris. They're making the move. Millie's in. Goggles is in. JV's in. Morris is in. It's waiting for Ginger. That'll be it for today. That's the end for today. Thanks for watching. We'll continue to share our journey at Grand Man Ranch.